Welcome back to Gearhead Daily, everybody. I'm your host, Eric, and uh, I try every day to try and bring you some of the most interesting, fascinating, cool, and sometimes just enraging things in the automotive world. And today I have for you a incident of road rage that happened in Boston, Massachusetts, where uh, the road, ra road rage incident happened where a man jumped on another man's car, and I'll tell you all about it, and there's video that goes with it. So uh, I've got some new software I'm testing out, and uh, hopefully it works better than the last stuff. I apologize. The video is rather choppy, and the software I was using was uh, not really up to it. Uh, but today, I got some new stuff. And before we jump in, I do want to say, I want to say a big thank you to everybody. I've now upgraded my channel from C plus to B minus. So, all right, here's uh, here's for all you B minus students. So I've moved up the rank a little bit, and I just want to say thank you very much to everybody who's subscribed and checking out the channel. So let's jump into uh, the video. I'm going to show you the video first, and then I'm going to tell you what happened afterwards and some of the aftermath that went ha that went on. So uh, here is the video. I uh, found this on YouTube. Actually, this uh, came through one of my uh, feeds in my email about uh, a guy, uh, and they're reaching speeds up to 65 miles an hour, and I'll explain what happened in the police report and in the uh, news report afterwards. But... Just hang on and uh, watch the video as uh, as it unfolds. This is uh, this is pretty crazy. Here we go. Sixty-five miles an hour. Okay, he's going down the highway. He's yelling at the guy. People are obviously trying to stop him. I mean, this is this is uh, this is insanity. It really, really is. Speeding up, slowing down, and uh, you could kill somebody over there. This is, this is dumb. He's yelling at the guy. Oh my goodness. They do eventually get it stopped. They eventually get it stopped. But the video of this is um, absolutely nuts. Here we go. No audio. No audio currently. Miles. They said this was up to three miles. Look at this. Stop. Good Samaritan. This guy's not by the way. Good Samaritan. They've got him. Finally got him to stop. Yes. Just, just my fingertips from wrapping on. <laughs> well, I work with my hands for the yeah. towels. So. Thank you. We're over on this side, there, right? Yeah. Some helicopter footage of what's going on, and uh, wait till you hear kind of the story about what happened and. Uh, Ah, the fact that nobody got hurt out of the deal is impressive. But if you notice, you saw the uh, broken windshield. And I don't know what happened there. Maybe the story will tell us. But it looks as if uh, the windshield got broken somehow. I'm not exactly sure what took place. If uh, a guy broke it while jumping on the car or if it was broken prior during the, the incident, the road rage or whatever. But um, both men were arrested. And both were have been arraigned on charges, and I'll explain here in just a second. So the uh, short little video ends here. It's only three minutes. So it's a quick video. He took my water bottle. My, he took my water bottle out of my car. He smashed my window. He was holding onto this. I tried to pull over. I said, "Get off my car." He said, "I'm not getting off your car." It, audio cut out. That was. I just kept telling him. Stop the car, stop the car, and he wouldn't stop. Well, I thought he, I thought he was going to run over me, and it's, I don't, he, I don't think he stopped. He kept going fast, slow, fast, slow. I tried to get him to slide off. I wasn't getting off the car. All right, that's the end of the video. So here's the story. Two drivers arraigned on charges in connection with apparent road rate incident on Massachusetts uh, the Turnpike. Okay, two men involved in Friday's apparent road rage. Here is the driver that you see in front of you uh, below the screen. Uh, road rage incident on Mass Pike caught on video. So this driver's got a lot of explaining to do. 
uh, when uh, it, when the video is is uh, you know brought out. So not guilty plea. <laughs> There's video of it, man. Woo! Been charged with assault with a dead, dangerous weapon. Yeah, a car is a deadly weapon, by the way. Uh, with a person over 60, negligent of a uh, operating a motor vehicle and leaving the scene of property damage. Okay, so uh, the uh, person riding the vehicle, I don't want to say victim because I don't know what transpired prior, but um, uh, he was also arraigned for charge of disorderly conduct and malicious damage to the vehicle, which you heard the driver say he smashed the window with a water bottle. Uh, police say uh, Fitzgerald and Kamrowski were involved in a minor swipe, side swipe collision. Okay, happens, not a big deal driving westbound, and they say he pulled over, got in the left lane, got out of his car, and attempted to exchange paperwork, and the encounter became adversarial. It's an understatement. <laughs> and at some point, Kamrowski retrieved a water bottle from the interior of Fitzgerald, so Fitzgerald must be the driver uh, of the vehicle, before taking position in front of the vehicle, and Fitzgerald started driving towards him. Now, I read a previous report that stated that the uh, older gentleman with the mustache who's riding uh, on the car, who clearly doesn't want to be riding on the hood of the car, uh, stated that the guy lunged at him and he didn't know what to do, so he jumped on the hood of the car to, he couldn't go either way, left or right, so he had to jump on top of it, and that's his statement. Uh, continued up to 70 miles an hour. Absolutely insane. There are easier ways to figure this out, guys. I mean, seriously, two to three miles on the pike, and other drivers attempted to get him to stop. They got phone calls um, the, uh, the, uh, it was a driver of a, uh, with a licensed gun owner who stopped Fitzgerald and ordered him out of his car. So Good Samaritan stopped him, uh, in, in that incident. Uh, but, uh, yeah, cl clearly lots of other drivers got it on video. Uh, Kamarowski's lawyer, which is the uh, gentleman in the mustache, uh, called the experience incredibly scary. Yeah, I mean, he, you, you could have been seriously injured or, or been run over. It's, uh, it was bad. So his side of the story is he was only looking to exchange information, uh, but they both got arraigned and arrested. And Fitzgerald was released on $500 cash bail, according and uh, ordered to stay away, for, away from Kim Rosky. Yeah, I bet I bet he was. Not to drive without a license, uh, and not to drive without a license. Okay, so the 37-year-old attorney said his client was afraid for his life during the incident, um, and also the other man was not to, to have any contact with the other gentleman. Uh, yeah, guys, come on. Finer benders happen, especially in Massachusetts. I've driven downtown Massachusetts, okay, especially on the turnpike, and incidents happen all the flipping time, okay. So, you know, don't uh, don't act like this didn't happen, or act like you know this is anything new. And at the end of the day, what is it? It's a it's a car, and if the other person gets belligerent with you, hey man, stay in your car, lock your door. Take a, take a video if you can safely drive away. Um, that's what you got to do. But uh, lesson learned here. Um, if things start to get heated and escalated, get back in your car, lock the door, turn your camera on if you can. It's amazing what happens when you pull out a camera and show it to somebody. Uh, nowadays, everybody's got them. Um, it's amazing how well-behaved certain people become after you point that camera at them. If uh, previous uh, belligerent folks tend to uh, you know relax a tad when that happens. Uh, some don't, but, you know, for the most part, at least you've got that piece of it on film. So uh, that uh, that's that's the moral of today's story. So I don't know. What do you think? Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? You kind of got both sides of the story here. Uh, clearly, uh, the driver who, uh, you know, drove away with some guy on his hood had ample time and uh, space to let him off the car uh, clearly didn't, was trying to shake him off like it was some sort of B-rate action Steven Seagal movie. Uh, who knows? Anyway, plenty of time, but let me know in the comments. Um, what do you think should happen? The guy loses his license? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what a, an appropriate consequence for each of these two guys is. Anyway, thanks a lot again for subscribing, and uh, check you later.